It's good to see everyone. There are so many of you here. Some of you are here voluntarily. But I bet there are also some of you who were dragged here. You probably thought, I'll go and listen just this once. But if they tell me to buy the products or do some kind of business, I never will. I'm sure there are some of those people who have completely closed off their minds like that. I can see some of those people through their facial expressions. In 1992, I went to Australia to sell automobile parts. At the time, a friend of my friend was doing network marketing. The marketing that the friend of my friend introduced to me was truly wonderful. And later, when I read books about it, it was really described as a wonderful marketing method. The content said that if I buy daily necessities, because they are good and cheap, and if I introduce it to someone, and that person uses the products, then that person goes around and spreads the word. Then, this causes a chain reaction. This chain of events eventually creates a big consumer group. And instead of using money on advertising on newspapers or TV, the company pays commission to the members for introducing the product orally. That was the key point in the books about network marketing. If everything goes like that, we won't encounter any problems. Using products that I need because they are good and cheap and introducing it to others, no problem. But problems occur even in those companies that operate lawfully and legitimately. These companies sometimes develop bad reputations because their prices are generally more expensive compared to the prices of large discount stores, home shopping networks, internet shopping malls, or even the neighborhood markets. In order to have sound network marketing, the products must have good prices and good quality. It has to be good and cheap for me to use it and introduce it to others. But is it really good and cheap? That's why we see so many people around us that tried network marketing for years. And they worked so hard. If they succeeded, nobody rebukes or criticizes them. However, we see many that fail and collapse and suffer because of it. It really makes us upset when we see that because we advise them not to do it. Because of that, the general perception of network marketing has become unpleasant. In fact, even I didn't want to do network marketing. My wife told me not to do it. When my loving wife told me not to do it, I didn't really want to. I'm obedient to my wife. However, I had a little bit of a lingering affection for network marketing. Because if everything is done according to the book, this marketing concept wouldn't pose any problems. The reputation is poor because people do not follow the book. So I thought, let's really try this according to what the book says. If it still fails, then it's impossible. I'll be through with it. I had that desire to experiment to see if it really works, if it's done by the book. So, by selling good products at good prices, let's see if people actually introduce it to people around them. That's why Atami, since the very beginning, 
never thought of other network marketing companies or call sales or doorstep sales companies as our rivals. Our rivals are the major supermarkets that ordinary people mostly shop at, or TV home shopping, and internet shopping malls. We wanted to sell better products at better prices than those companies. If it still didn't succeed, I would have written in my will for the next generations to never get into network marketing. That's the mindset that I had when I first started this company. When we first started, we had the Skincare 6 set comprised of 6 types of base makeup and our health supplement, Hemohim. Now we have about 50 different products, but they were all added much later. But in the early days, when we were building our organization, we only had the two products. We knew that we must produce in massive quantities to innovatively lower manufacturing costs. So when Atami first met the product called Hemohim, the sales volume was only at about 500 boxes per month. But I went to SBT president Kim chi -bong and said, if you manufacture 100,000 per month, can you please calculate the production cost? If you do that for us, we will sell 100,000 per month. If you calculate production costs to manufacture only 500 per month, you cannot even sell 500. At the time, they were producing 3,000 in one batch and selling 500 per month. So they were operating the manufacturing plants only once every six months. There's no way the plant would survive. If it were to continue to operate that way, it would have surely gone bankrupt. But if we were to manufacture 100,000 sets per month and calculate the production costs, there would be a slight chance for success. So I suggested to try that. Before it met Atami, this product used to cost around $750 for 60 packets. But now, although the quantity is slightly smaller, it sells at about $75 for 54 packets. But it wasn't always 54 packets. At first, it was 30. $75 for 30 packets would be about 20% of the price of $750 for 60 packets. So we decided to try to sell it at that price. The reason I was able to cut the production cost so drastically is because I worked for an automobile parts production company for 17 years. They manufactured the parts and then supplied it to the automobile companies. We had to thoroughly look after every penny. They said, we must wring out even dry towels. How? Put it in the dryer. So when this parts manufacturing company tries to sell the parts to automobile companies, they don't simply accept the presented price. They try to calculate the production costs. They use a scale to weigh the product and calculate the cost of raw materials. Then they compare it to the international standards and they are able to calculate the cost per gram of the materials. Then they look at the part. For example, if a motor's horsepower is X, they calculate the cost of electricity. You can't say the cost of electricity is high. They even bring a stopwatch to calculate labor costs. They go to the plant themselves, and they measure how long it takes to produce a certain object and calculate the total labor cost. They refer to this as management by the second. They thoroughly calculate costs and give out a 3% margin. Therefore, unless production costs are drastically reduced, the company can go bankrupt. 
I was raised in that type of business world for 17 years. How's the cosmetics industry? No more dry towels. The towels in the cosmetics industry are soaking wet and dripping. Why? In the cosmetics industry, production costs take up a very small portion of costs. Advertising is 30%. Shopping mall commission takes 30 to 40%. So there are too many bubbles. So if it costs $10 to produce something, you can sell it for $100 or $200. So what's the point in trying to save a few dollars? So in the cosmetics industry, I don't think there is much cost reduction. In the automobile industry, they form a cost reduction team once a year. They call it RCD. RCD is short for Reasonable Cost Down. This team reasonably cuts down all costs. Well, it's reasonable from their standpoint, but for us, damn it, you're killing us. I'm sorry. I still curse when I think about all the stress I went through back then. But from all that suffering, I learned that I can use it in the cosmetics industry. Corporations like Komar and SBT are universal companies with 100 years of tradition and heritage. Because of that, they are able to support us and work with us. So, our company is aiming to mass produce the world's best quality products and thoroughly manage production costs so we can achieve mass sales. We try to achieve absolute quality, meaning no other company can create better quality. No one can match the quality of our products. The standard of our quality is that of universal luxury brands. No other company can match our price. If they try to sell it at a cheaper price, they will not be able to stay in business. We don't stop at simply just comparing with rival companies and looking into their prices. All we need to do is sell a little bit cheaper than them? No, no, that's not what we do. That's relative price. We don't stop at just selling a little cheaper than other companies. If we do that, those companies will reduce their prices too, because their sales will decrease. A price that cannot be matched even if they reduce it as much as they can. We will make it impossible from the start, even for any potential competitors in the future. We will make it so no one can even conceive the idea of having better prices. That is called absolute price. A price that is impossible to match. We work by setting those absolute goals. What is an absolute goal? I'll give you an example. My specialty while serving in the military was 310. For those of you who served in arms, I was a pobyong. My specialty was laying telephone lines. When laying telephone lines, you lay lines on the ground, but you also have to install them on telephone poles. I had to be able to climb telephone poles well. Wooden telephone poles. You use something called a kawu to pick into the pole and strap onto a belt to climb up and work on the pole. At the time, I set a goal to be the fastest to climb up and wanted to test myself. Many of us had contests to see who can climb up to the top the fastest and hang our hats and come back down. It generally took about 18 seconds to climb to the top, 15 seconds for the fast ones. I set a goal for myself to reduce this time. 
I set that goal by laying a telephone pole on the ground and ran the length of the pole and back. That took me 3.8 seconds. Well, would one be able to climb up a pole and come back down faster than running the length of it and back? It's impossible, right? That is an absolute goal. There is nobody that can climb up a telephone pole and come back down faster than running the length of it and back. In order to meet that absolute goal, you cannot walk up the pole. Walking means take one step, then take the next step, and so on. You have to run up the pole. You have to take one step, and then before the next step even lands, take the next. You have to run like that. You have to run vertically. I practiced that again and again. If the pole broke from picking into it so much, I dug another hole for it. So after months of practice, I was able to run up the telephone pole. I even developed muscles. Finally, I was able to achieve my goal of 3.8 seconds. So in Atomi, we set absolute goals. The price cannot go any lower than what it is now. You set those goals and create specific plans to meet those goals. You can't just set a goal and say you will achieve it. You must put in the necessary effort. If not, you won't achieve your goals. The reason that Atomi has been able to reduce the prices so much is because of thorough computerization. We don't do our jobs because we don't hire employees? No. We do our jobs better by computerizing things so computers can do the work that people would have to do. Also, with computerization, we can decrease the factor of human error. Setting sensible and reasonable progress directions can make that possible. Our company sells products that you need in your daily life. Daily necessities. If you go one day without these products, your quality of life can go down drastically. Some of the products here, like cosmetics, used to be considered luxury products. But how about now? Is it a luxury or a necessity? It's a necessity. My wife and I are late for an arrangement, so I say, eat or put on your makeup, one or the other. We don't have time. What does she do? Does she eat? No, she puts on her makeup. So I realized that for women, cosmetics are more important than food. So we have all these daily necessities like detergent that you cannot live without. So if the quality and price are good, it's guaranteed to sell. So when you come here and say, hmm, network marketing, I don't want to get into it. I'll go and have a listen, but I'll never get into it. There are people who think like that. But actually, Atomi doesn't let everyone do the business. Of course, we do not look at your education or age. And even though we sell cosmetics, we don't even look at your appearance. What a relief. If we looked at appearance, I only see two people who would pass. When I said this before, someone came up to me and said, I'm one of those two people, right? You have to have that kind of attitude to succeed. I think she's a Sharon Rose now. You need a little self-esteem. You need to be a little conceited. Anyways, we still don't care about appearance. How fortunate. But we do consider one thing when looking for a business person. After listening to the product introductions, if you think you can get better quality products at better prices elsewhere, so you don't think you will need to buy our products, then you should not be an Atomi business person. Even if you do, you will not succeed. Because humans have a conscience. 
You cannot sell something that you don't even use. You cannot promote the product telling people it's good and cheap. The people that do have the right to be an Atami business person are the people who think, I will use Atami's toothbrush and toothpaste even if I don't become a business person. I will use Atami's cosmetics, detergents, and other products. Just using their products will benefit me. The quality and price is better than anywhere else. Only those of you who think like that should start the business. Those of you who think like that will become successful. Why? You're confident. You can speak with confidence to anyone. If someone refuses to buy the product after you tell them about it, you think, idiot, it's your loss. You don't get embarrassed. But if you try to sell something that's expensive and poor in quality, you feel embarrassed. You start blaming your husband for your misfortunes. And men start blaming their wives for having to work so hard for little return because they don't contribute. That's what happens when you get rejected while trying to sell that expensive, poor quality product. It's inevitable. But if you sell good products at good prices, you're confident. You can think, there are plenty others. It's your loss if you don't use it. We don't get hurt because we think that we are psychologically superior to them. Even if others don't use it. That's why I say, if you think Atami products are really good and cheap, you should start the business. Also, if you don't like our products after you try it, bring it in. Even if you used half of it, we will pay for it. We don't even make samples. If we make samples, the production cost will increase. You don't pay for samples, but making samples actually costs more than the actual product. Producing 10 units at 10 grams each is more expensive than producing one unit at 100 grams. But they just give out these samples everywhere. Who pays for these samples? It's not the president of the company. They add on the cost of samples to the sales price of the product. There was someone, when he heard that the skincare 6 set is only about $75, each one costs less than $15, he said, how good could such a cheap product be? I don't want to use it. $75 for one is even cheap, but $75 for six? He said, I can't use such a low grade product on my face. There was another person that got this product as a gift. She had been using a product that was about $1,000 per set. She said she couldn't use a $75 product on her face, but she didn't want to throw it away, so she used it on her buttocks and feet. But after about a month, she started noticing that the skin on her buttocks and feet had improved. I haven't seen it, but that's what she said. So she started using it on her face as well. When she used it on her face, she realized that it was better than the expensive brand she had been using before. So she started using that on her feet, and our cheap product on her face. She said that in front of many people. So this product can be so cheap because it is mass produced. Also, we didn't spend a lot of money on the container. We just wanted to make it clean and simple. It doesn't need to be fancy because once the product is all gone, the container goes in the garbage. So we didn't want to waste money like that. We only wanted to spend money on what goes on the face. So the container is just simple. We don't spend any money on advertising, department store commissions, or shopping mall commissions. If we had shops, it would all go towards the sales price. But we don't have any of that. Therefore, this product is not cheap because there is little content or the quality is low. We just got rid of all the bubbles, and thus, the price became cheap. Cosmetics are made with natural raw materials. 
Those are the good ones. They're created by taking natural plants or fruits, squeezing the juices and boiling the extracts. How expensive could that possibly be? When I talk about these prices, I say, why should it be any more expensive than juice? All you do is boil plant roots and squeeze the juice out of fruits. Put it all together in a tank and stir it to mix it together. It shouldn't be that expensive. When I say that cosmetics engineers get enraged, they try to say that it's sophisticated, but I say the machines do everything for you. So just calculate the electricity costs. It might drive them crazy when I negotiate like that, but that's really the case. Realistically, why should cosmetics cost any more than juice? It's made out of raw plant materials. If a certain plant is expensive, it will be farmed more. Then the price drops. In the case of aloe, what if you could only get it by extracting it from the deserts? It would be very expensive. But a large stem of aloe is only a few dollars. When you take a flight near California, in the middle of the desert, there are large green areas. I think they are aloe farms. If you go there, a big stem of aloe is very cheap. If you take that and use it as a raw material, you have natural aloe cosmetics. There is aloe in here. The aloe in here barely costs a few cents. It's not even a dollar. There is more than just aloe. But even if you take all the raw materials in here, it still doesn't cost a whole lot. Its cost should be similar to juice. It's true that there is more advanced technology involved in products like the essence. So expensive machines have to be used. But if you manufacture 1 million units per year with that machine, and you do that for 10 years, that's 10 million units. If you divide that cost of the machine by 10 million, it's really not that much. This product isn't cheap because it's low grade. It's actually a very good product. The Atomi Essence is nano. If the particle is nano, it could be a problem. But this is liquid nano. It's a mix of oil and water. But if the particle size is too large, it doesn't get absorbed very well. That's why we made the size of the particle very small, nano size, so there aren't any problems when it permeates through the skin. If you squeeze it, you can see something very different from other products. Nano products show a rainbow-like glimmer. So this is a nano product. And it received the Changyongshil award in cosmetics industry. Would we have been the only company to apply for the award? Only the Tommy Essence? No way. All of the largest cosmetics companies in Korea, all the luxury brands competed to get this Changyongshil award. Some cost $150, $200, $300, $700, but our $15 essence got the award. You cannot look down on this because I compare it to juice. That only applies when we negotiate the price. You have to push it like that when you negotiate. That's how you get a discount. But the quality of the product is one of the greatest, not only in Korea, but the world. It's the greatest product in Korea. The best. Why is it so cheap? Advertising costs? Shop commissions? We ignore the bombastic advice of the experts and use cheap containers. But if we mass produce, we can sell it at a cheap price. So we said let's try to make a nation's cosmetic. One that anyone can use. So we lowered and lowered and lowered the price. At first it was a set of 5 items. But later we added the BB cream to make it a set of 6. 
Someone in the cosmetics industry saw the skin lotion and said, Is this chairman of this company crazy? How does he expect to make money if he makes skin lotion and milk lotion so big? He was grumbling about the size of our products. Well, I know that too. But if we want to make a nation's cosmetic, it has to be cheap. And it has to be large. Another person was joking, saying that they never get the thrill of opening a new container. That's the way a nation's cosmetic should be. This used to be 135 mils, but we increased it to 150 mils. 135 is large enough. Why increase it even more? Because we want to create a nation's cosmetic. Through Atami, we want the general public to be able to use good quality products at cheap prices to assist their livelihood. We want to help them save living expenses. Also, there aren't many jobs out there right now. There are so many small stores that are going out of business. How are those people going to live? You can start a Tommy even if you don't have capital, specialized knowledge, or certifications. Your age doesn't matter. You don't need to have special experience. As long as you join the system, if you come to the seminars, there are people who explain everything to you. There are sponsors who directly help you. You may even be able to enjoy the riches of life. You can start a business without any investment. You won't cause harm to anyone. And it's good and cheap. It's good and cheap. Try it, try it. If you don't like it, bring it back. That's all you need to say. Anyone that has a mouth can do this business. You can succeed by introducing it to those around you. For some, because you have your lovely families. The first time you get into the sales industry, it can be a very unfamiliar territory. Some may think that you have to beg people and dislike the idea. But this business really does not cause harm to anyone. You're not asking people to buy something that's really expensive. You're not asking them to buy something that is useless. They need to use these products anyways. If they don't buy it, then that's okay. Our job is to introduce it. If they don't want it, so be it. So we just have to diligently introduce it to people around us. And sometimes there are people that have been looking for products like this. And there may also be people who have been looking for a business like this. So we just tell people, we all have to use daily necessities. Let's stop making the rich richer by buying them from large department stores. Let's circulate it within ourselves. That's what you need to explain. If you can do that, although you had no money to start, if you work diligently, you can succeed. This can be a business that pays you $30,000, $50,000 per month. You will be able to help the people around you that are in need and live a good life while being respected by those around you. This is your opportunity. Now you can take your business out into the world together with Atami. That is the end of our first session. Thank you for listening. Like, share, 눌러주세요.